So I'm going to talk to you about uh, something called quality score. Um, now bear with me if you've heard about quality score, because uh, I may uh, I may show you something something different. Um, if you don't know about quality score, let me ask you a, a, a question: Is you know, have you ever wondered why it is that some of your keywords have a higher minimum cost than the others do? Now you may have uh, considered this is because there's just a greater competition for that keyword and that's why you have to pay more uh, to, to appear for that, that keyword. Now, that is true to, uh, to an extent, but actually the real reason is uh, Google uses a thing called quality score to decide how much you need to bid for your keywords to appear, uh, at least on the front page. Um, and this, this um, this quality score, it's it's based on relevancy. Google, as you'll, you'll get to learn, is very hot on relevancy. And what it's looking at is the relationship between the keywords that you're, you've chosen, your ads, and then the landing page, the, the page that you send your visitors to when they click on your ad. It's looking for that relationship between them. And um, if, you, if you're getting a higher quality score from Google, it's because Google likes the fact that keyword looks very relevant to the ad, very relevant to the landing page, and it will reward you with a lower uh, minimum bid price for your keyword. So with that in mind, obviously you want to, to maximize your quality score to be as high as possible. But I suppose the first question is, is how do you find out exactly what the quality score is for your keywords? Now, um, I'm guessing that most of the people on this call are on the new AdWords interface. So all the screenshots now are from the, the new interface. So if you're on the old one, um, you'll see these new screens soon. But I think practically everybody is now rolled out to the new interface. So um, in terms of finding your quality score, you need to click on the button that's called Filter and Views when you're in your Keywords tab in AdWords. When you do that, you will see uh, an option to to select a thing called customize columns. And if you select that, you will see the following screen and you will be able to check the box for quality score. As soon as you check the box for quality score, you will see a uh, quality score appearing in your uh, list of keywords. Uh, there's a couple I picked 10 out of 10, well that's great. Um, but 10 is the, is the best that you can get, and 1 is obviously the worst you can get, and you're really looking for something quite high. Uh, and a common question I get is, so what's good? Um, and I would say if you've got keywords scoring 8, 9, or 10, then that's great. You're doing very well. Um, anything below 7, it's starting to look like there's a problem, and you really need to start to address that keyword. That's certainly the sort of uh, grading that I use. So let's just talk about how they calculate that score, because once you understand how they calculate it, then you can do something about changing yours and improving them. Now, when you first um, put up an AdWords campaign and you first put your keywords up, the factors that Google use to rate your, your quality score is exactly as I explained earlier. It looks at the relationship between the keyword, the ad, and the landing page. And basically, you know, if your keyword is in your ad and in your landing page, you, you stand a very good chance of having um, a high quality score. But that's not where it stays, because over time, people will click on your ads, and they will click in response to the keywords that you're matching to. And you, your keywords will start to generate a click-through score, a click-through rate. And that is really where Google starts to weight your quality score. It looks at your click-through history, and if you've got a good click-through history, it will start to improve your quality score. It will increase the number. But the same is true the other way. If you're not getting the click-throughs, you're getting a lot of impressions, Google's going to start to drop your quality score. And that becomes a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy, because as it drops your quality score, your position on the page drops. And as your position on the page drops, we all know your click-through rate drops, and therefore your quality score continues to drop, drop again. So um, once you start to suffer with a bad click-through history, you really do see your keywords suffer extremely badly. So how do you improve your quality score? Well, I've already touched on it, and, and you'll hear me say relevancy many, many times in presentations on AdWords. 
improve the relevancy. You know, um, what you're really trying to do here is 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 get, is get the relevancy between the keyword, the ad, and the landing page. And, and step one is to go for keyword targeted ads. Now, by that, what I mean is you know, try and get your keywords into your ad copy. And an excellent place to put the um, keyword is in the title of your ad. The second step is to look at your landing pages, where you're sending the ads to, and try to optimize them to make sure that your the keywords that you're bidding on are included in the landing page that you're sending people to from that ad group. Now you may say, and this is what we're coming up to point three, you may say, well that's great, you know, I've got ad groups with a few hundred keywords in, I can't possibly build a landing page with all of those keywords. And that's why you need to have tightly organized ad groups so that you can optimize your ads to your landing pages and back to your keywords and that will reward you with an improving quality score. And funnily enough, tightly organizing your ad groups just so happens to be tip two.